welcome back to the show guys. We just made it out to the shelf. I'm on a solo mission today on New Beauty. I'm on my uni break, so I'm just trying to get out as much as possible. Pump out as many episodes as I can for you guys. So yeah, the tuna bite's starting pretty slow this year, but hopefully we can still land a few on your Beauty this year. It was good last year, but hopefully we can make it even better this year. So I got four rods now, so I have a full spread, and I got my stick bait rod. Uh, yeah. Two TLD 50s, 24 kilo, and two Tiago 50s, also 24 kilo. So I'll show you what I'm running today, but I'm going to set the spread. And yeah, fingers crossed. Ew. So as most of you know, I don't have outriggers, but what I do have is these rod riggers. So they go in a rod holder, lock in, and that just sets your spread a bit wider. And you can actually run four rods without outriggers. So I reckon they're amazing. I don't reckon I'll ever get outriggers because these rod riggers work a treat. So yeah, we put two in there and then two up the front. So yeah, first one I'm sending out is a skirt that worked really well last year. A tuna Terra skirt. It's got double hooks on it and yeah, it worked really well last year. It hooked a lot of fish, so I'll send that out the furthest. Hopefully you catch a fish. Also the second furthest out is Profici Blue One Double Hooks. What I need to mention, most of you probably know this, but some people probably new to game fishing. I send out the furthest out first, and then the second furthest out, and the closer ones next, and that you probably won't get a tangle that way. It's common sense, but I see a lot of people still send out the first ones out first. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway. I'm running. This is the second closest to the boat. Is another Pro Fiji. I haven't really caught anything on this color, but also haven't really tried. So put something new in the spread. Hopefully we can get some. And last thing I'm running closest to the boat is a Hauco Deep Diver. This is a shallow diver actually, not a deep deep diver, but does the same job. And when I caught my first yellowfin tuna, I'm not this exact lure, but Diver. And I forgot to mention, this year I've done a lot of my own rigging, so if you lose the fish, it's hard to reset my fault. So it's just a waiting game now, I've got the spread out. I usually do bring rubber bands and tie the two closer ones to the boat just to have them down a bit, but it's not Ostro Ventures unless we forget some, but that's probably the best thing to forget out of everything. Got everything else, which is good, and yeah, fingers crossed. It's about 11.30 now, hardly any birds where I am, hardly any bait, no fish, no dolphins, nothing. So yeah, it's not looking too hopeful, but we're just moving north a bit further. And yeah, fingers crossed really. Kind of, oh, that's the first bird I've seen in about an hour. That could be good news, but so yeah. A little bit tiny, bit more hopeful now. We might follow him around and see where he's going. Shelf to see if there's anything that could be bust up, so you never know. We could see some whales or dolphins. I do like seeing that before it gets too dark. So yeah, I really don't know. Like, I've been going all day, haven't really saw much. So yeah, I reckon I'll probably get 15 more minutes, then pack up, steam in, 
and just see if there's anything interesting on the way in. I haven't seen whales this season yet, so that'd be really good. But yeah, just be good. On, 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 on! What the f***? Something small, but <laughs> it's a fish. Almost lost all hope. So I'm just driving still, just to keep a bit of tension on it. This one's on the skirt. I don't know what it is. Big colour. Could be a little yellow. Fin. Is it a little yellow fin? Little yellow fin. Woo! Yeah. Solo on my. Yeah! Woohoo! He's not a world breaker! What? What? I can't even speak! No way! He's not actually too small! What? On the Tudor Terror! I can't believe I got that hook up on camera! That was just unbelievable, the timing on that! Oh! Oh, oh, I'm so stoked. Wow, I can't believe it. Little yellow fin, maybe five to 10 kilos. <laughs> I can't believe that, honestly. I just cannot get over the fact, I literally was about to go in telling you guys, just in case something happened on the way in, and then hooked up on the skirt. Let's put them back in and try and get another one. I can't believe that. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. That is just awesome. Ew, look at the colours on that guy. That is insane. That's a shame. So to bleed them, it is a bit cruel, but you just want to get behind this fin. Go in, straight down. And then we'll get the other side as well. He'll go a bit skits in a minute, but to get the best quality meat, you just want to do that. Rupture that artery right there. Just put in the logics with my ice. Fish on deck. Took seven hours of trolling, but we got learned. Not the biggest as well, like I said, but oh, you can't take the steak away from me just because I did it all myself, all the rigging, everything. Drove down it. No, no one helped me with anything today. Oh, it's just a good feeling. Doing it solo. Oh, seeing those little yellow sickles come up on the side where I was here. Oh, it was just the best feeling ever. Go in the gaff. Slide on deck. Oh, it's just so good today. What a day. Actually marking a fair few fish. You can see up the top here, there a few little squiggles. And that's where we hooked the last one. So I'm just going back there again, go over the top. But I've been marking fish ever since I hooked that one. So must be a few there. Well, that just, how quick can the day just change? I just can't believe, I was literally speaking to you guys about how it's been pretty dead, you know, pretty unlucky, but I just was about to go in 15 more minutes. 
Like you can't make that up. I just can't believe it went boom boom. Oh, that is <laughs> it's just insane. And even if I lost the fish, I would have just been happy because I turned a reel. There's nothing worse than coming out all this way and just not moving. Like it's pretty damn boring, but how quick does it just change from the worst day ever to the best day ever? Oh now we just gotta upsize, you know. I've been wanting to get a yellowfin tuna by myself for a while. Wasn't the size I was after, but I'll take it. I'm not complaining whatsoever, I'll take that. And yeah, hopefully we can just go bigger and bigger. Or another one. I don't mind, just give me whatever you want. Please God, thank you. Okay, this time I'm actually going 15 minutes more. And yeah, I'm just heading in on the line back to the boat ramp. But yeah, let's see what happens. If I get something, I'll do. I'll reel it in. If I don't, then we got one on deck, that's all good. So yeah, 15 more minutes, then we'll steam it in. Hopefully I can see a whale. I really want to see one and take some nice photos and stuff like that. That'll just top off the trip even more, but doesn't matter, I'm stoked. Tin Donut, your beauty. She does a donut, she's a good girl. Well, she donuts sometimes, but she did today. So yeah, absolutely stoked. Ah, I'll see you soon. Phew. Everything's ready, go. Let's send it. Got in. Beautiful afternoon. Here's my little five to ten kilo yellowfin. Pretty stoked. First fish of the season, and first one solo on my boat, which is epic. So hopefully we can get a bit bigger next time. But still, there's a fair bit of meat on that guy, and I'm gonna field him tomorrow, so you guys can watch and I can explain some stuff because it's getting pretty late. So I'm just gonna put a bag of ice on it. bag of ice and the ice that's already in there. The logics will keep it nice and cold tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll just finish off washing the boat and washing all the rods and stuff. But yeah, that was the TLD 50. I got it today, first fish for that rod. So I was pretty stoked. And yeah, I'll see you then. Whew. It's bright and early. I actually came down to fill the fish this morning instead, because I've got to work today. I didn't want to do it last night because it'd be pretty dark, but there he is. Just put ice on him last night, so it's nice and cold. We should be pretty easy to fill it. And we'll get the job done. Well, that's all the meat. Actually got a fair bit of meat. And a little bit of sashimi with the spoon. Uh, pretty interesting to see, he actually had a big squid, actually a little squid, but still a squid in his guts, and heaps of tiny little crabs. 
like just heaps of tiny crabs. I don't know if the crabs are on the squid or whatever, but there's just so many. So if you know where they come from, let me know, but I don't know how tuna's eat the crabs all the way out there. So yeah, pretty cool, but all that's done, so we're to catch and cook, but yeah, excellent quality meat. I'll cut the bloodline off when we get home, but yeah, perfect. I'm not even gonna do a catch cook today. I'm just gonna eat some fish, fresh sashimi. I love this stuff. With my favorite biscuits, favorite sauces, and yeah. Don't need to do a catch cook, I don't reckon. It just doesn't get fresher than that. Beautiful. So we've got a bit of sauce, honey and soy. Gotta pull the lid off. Alright. They wanna be tricky. They wanna be they wanna be tricky. There we go. Oh man, it doesn't get better than that. Before I end this episode, I just want to give a few Quick shout outs. Shout out one to my dad for waking me up. Even though I turned my alarm off in my sleep, he still woke me up and said, You going fishing? You going visionary? So, yeah, thanks, dad. Second one is to Stormline Gear. When they're jumping now, but all my waterproof clothing while I'm out there is always Stormline. That's one thing I really wish I invested more in when I started game fishing. You get absolutely soaked. Having the right gear really helps you not turn it into a bad day, I guess. You stay dry. Your gear might get wet, but you stay dry, which is the main thing. And thirdly, to Shimano for the best ever game fishing gear. Nothing beats it, and they catch some amazing fish on their reels. How perfect is the afternoon? Almost as good as yesterday, Arvo, except I don't have a yellow fin on deck. Anyway, gonna finish this off. See you guys next episode. See you then. Ew. Yeah, mate, got some, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate, coming through, mate, clear. Clear, clear, over and out. The first bird sighting of the day. Hello, man, that's there.